major concern with the with the with how the, the, the health service system has developed. There are many gaps in relation to uh, regulations, and these regulations uh, are not in place not only because um, of the lack of the institutional capacity to, to put these regulations in force, but also the the standards. Um, are not in place. Um, uh, so the universities that have to give certification is usually the source of the development of these standards. But these standards ought to be promulgated uh, through the Bureau of Standards in order for them to be uh, globally or internationally accepted. There's a form that um, will tell you what needs to be on the vehicle. And then they will come in, do the inspection, so they check off, Lights, siren, stretcher, types of equipment. So you have an inverter, you have a backup battery and all of these things. And take it off and then, based on that, now you will get an approval letter. So now you can take that to the insurance company to say, all right, this is no longer a bus. This is now an ambulance for them to make that adjustment. So you take to the, and get all of the, the documents modified so you can then uh, operate. Yes, I would have improvement. But you know... Um that's yeah, so when you're ready. I see um, officers in the fire brigade that like, were in charge of EMS. Yeah, they leave because they don't see anything going on. They, you know, because they, they don't stop with them. They stop with the ministry. You know, the, 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 the society faces a lot of danger in terms of you'll have um, less people having um, less people having access to free hospital care. That is one. And free hospital care is a vital, vital essential service. And it works along with post, um, with advanced care with, within the hospital because um, most life-threatening injuries um, are, 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 you know, have been done pre-hospital. Person means a motor vehicle accident is that it's not within a hospital that it happens. Um, person having a cardiac arrest, it doesn't happen mostly in the hospital. It happens at the business, at their their their, their house, at church. So, you know, it is an essential service that if personally you can catch those injuries and stabilize patients prior to taking them to the hospital, it saves it saves lives. I think it robs the 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 people, the Jamaican people, of a service that is essential.